Hi, my name is George, aka The Saucy Piglet. I'm nine years old and love cooking, especially on a barbecue. So I'm going to show you how to cook some delicious food and while we're doing that, I'm going to teach you a bit of Spanish. Ole. Así que vamos, cocinemos un poco. This kid is smoking. Good morning everybody from sunny Spain. It's Easter Sunday and I'm getting ready to do an Easter egg hunt around the garden with the evil twins. <laughs> But before we go looking for chocolate treasure, I'm going to make something completely different this week. Most people wouldn't dream of making these in a smoker, but trust me, they'll turn out amazing. I'm making my very own chocolate frutti cookie! To make these, you need one cup of butter, salted or unsalted, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of granulated sugar, three large eggs, two tablespoons of vanilla extract, two and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, one cup of oats, one cup of chocolate drops, one cup of Smarties, one and a half cups of mixed dried fruit. Butter in Spanish is mantequilla. Brown sugar in Spanish is azúcar morena. Granulated sugar in Spanish is azúcar granulada. Egg in Spanish is huevo. Eggs is huevos. Vanilla extract in Spanish is extracto de vainilla. Flour in Spanish is harina. Baking soda in Spanish is bicarbonato de sodio. Salt in Spanish is sal. Oats in Spanish is avena. Chocolate drops in Spanish is gotas de chocolate. Smarties in Spanish is lacasitos. Mixed dried fruit in Spanish is frutos secos mixtos. So let's get started. In a food processor, add the butter, brown sugar, granulated sugar and cream together. Next, add the eggs and vanilla extract, mix together until creamed. Now I'm going to start adding the dry ingredients. Add the flour, baking soda and salt and mix completely. Next, I'm adding the oats and give them a little mix before adding the other ingredients. Now, I'm ready to add the choco fruity bits that will make the cookies taste so good. Add the mixed dried fruit, the chocolate drops and finally the Smarties and mix until combined and formed a nice dough. Now the dough is ready, we're going to pop them in the smoker and set it to 205 centigrade or 400 Fahrenheit. So while that's getting up to temperature, let's form the cookies. Using a quarter cup measure, form small balls and place them on a baking sheet, making sure there's plenty of room for them to melt down and form a cookie shape. See how quickly the weather can change in Spain. It's raining in Spain! Hallelujah, it's raining in Spain! George, what are you doing? I'm making chocolate fruit cookies. Cookie! Let's pop them in the smoker. Now let's make the next batch. 
so now, so now they've been in there for eight to ten minutes. Now we're going to get them out and let them cool. Let the cookies cool for 15 minutes, then transfer them to a wire rack and allow them to cool completely. Keep making the cookies until you have used all of the dough. It should make about 24 good sized cookies. Last batch. Now they've had a chance to get cooled, let's give it a try. They're gooey, they're chewy, they're choco, they're fruity, and they're cookies! They have my very own choco fruity cookies! That's all for me, the saucy piglet. I'll see you next time in my outdoor kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell button so I'll get notified for future videos. Happy Easter, everybody! It's raining, man! Time has come for this cookie. Nom 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 nom. Ah, bye bye. This kid is smoking.